Last video of the series, guys. Hope you enjoyed what I'm talking about so far. In this video, we're gonna be talking about, hey, how do we actually start making money now? Okay, we're gonna be talking about the three top ways how to make money. The thing that I want you to take away the most so far is consistency is the key. Okay, if I would have given up on doing events, okay, they wouldn't be where they're at and our business wouldn't be where they're at. Okay, it's not the strategy that works. It's not the marketing strategy that works. It's not the thing that works. It's the thing that you work the most that works. Okay, this is one of the biggest myths in the industry. You scroll around Facebook all the time. Oh, do this. This is going to make you money. Do this. Do this. Right? It's not about this or that. It's about do you work this or that? Okay, and the reason why events work is because you're in person. You get their undivided attention. Online, you're fighting for their attention all the time with how many other people that are paying how much money to get in front of them. Okay, get them offline. Get them off the computer and get them in person. That's when you're going to have the best success. Okay, consistency is your greatest key. Okay, so first and foremost, the top way or the most... Um, most popular way of what most people think is on your actual ticket sales. Okay, this is probably one of what people think is the most. And what I would say is this will probably be honestly sometimes your third. Okay, most events or a lot of events, okay, depending on how they structure, there's different models, okay. Most of these events, they're not really making money on the front end. Okay, and in some cases, they're actually going into the negative. Okay, why would you do an event if you go into the negative? Why would you do that if you're not making money on the ticket sales? Well, that goes into the next part, okay, or the next way. So the second way is through the back end, okay? So you're not on your ticket sales. What I mean the back end is you're selling a program or you're selling some other service or product, okay, that makes up for not making money on the front end, okay, and this is how most people are making money, okay, through the events. Not that you can't make money here, and this is where I guess you kind of have to decide what's your model, okay, and it depends upon how much value have you given before the event even started. So if you have a good social media presence, Okay, like one of my uh, mentors, Elliot Hulse, he has a really good social media presence. Okay, and so to go to his event, I think his cheapest event is $1,000. So he has a room full of 75 guys and it's $1,000, right? He's making $75,000 on the event. He's not really selling a back-end program, okay, or anything else like that. He'll sell more tickets to his next event, okay, which again, going back to ticket sales, Okay, but for the most part, that's how he's making the money. So it's kind of deciding what I would say, especially if you're starting off, that the whole goal of the event is not necessarily making money on the front end. Okay, your goal would be breaking even, okay, if not making a little bit of money. Your whole goal is the back end in selling your programs. In our first video, we talked about you got to give value first. Customers don't pay you on the value you're going to give them. Customers and clients pay you for the value you've already given them. Okay? Your event is that second part. They're paying you for the value you've already given them. In some cases, you might even give away tickets for free. But hold up. Hold up on that. Free tickets, you need to make sure you really nail these down because if what I've noticed with free tickets over the years, if you're just doing this, handing out free tickets, they're not a very big show rate. I knew a company, they gave away like 200 free tickets and I think like 10 of those people showed up, okay? That could really hurt, okay, planning for the event if you're expecting 200 people to show up and only like 10. So be careful with those. You really have to nail those ones down. So the whole goal of the ticket sales up front is essentially enough money for them to feel like they have some uh, something in that, that obligates them to show up. Okay, those who pay, pay attention. 
Those who pay, pay attention. The good guy in me just wants to give everybody free tickets. Everyone gets free tickets. However, what I've noticed is that those people don't show up. So one of the biggest reasons why we charge for the events is I want to make sure the right people are in the right room. For our bigger event, our Las Vegas Mastermind, okay, it's $1,000. I want to make sure there's the right people in the right room. Imagine going to a higher level mastermind and there's a bunch of rookies in the room that have never started. Wouldn't you be upset? Okay, so the ticket price is that entry fee that doesn't necessarily allow the people to come in that you want in. It pushes the people that you don't want to come in and it pushes them out. Okay, so the ticket price, again, for some of these is not necessarily making money or breaking even. Sometimes it's just getting the right people in the right, in the room that you want them to be. So that way it sets up your back end. Okay, is this making sense? All right, and this is where people get caught up in, right? You, you got to have a lot of faith for this. You got to come in delivering value. And I don't know, like with our events, I don't know who's going to sign up. That's not really my choice. My choice is deciding to be the best version of myself at the event, put together the best experience, the best presentation, give as much value as I possibly can, and then invite them to go to the next level. And if I've done that first part right, okay, and when I make an invitation to go to the next level, they're going to say yes because I did that first part right. So I don't worry about the second part. I don't get caught up. Who's going to buy? Who's not going to buy? I think they're going to be a client. Well, they're not going to be a client. You never know, guys. You really don't. Your job is to show up, deliver value, have faith in that process. And when you do, okay, the ladder is going to happen. Okay, the ladder is going to happen. Okay, and then the third way of making money through the events is having, again, sponsors. So I know uh, some businesses where they put on the events, they might speak for a little bit, but they have other people coming on stage, so they have to pay to come speak, and then whatever money they bring in through the event, now they have to pay a percentage to him. Okay, so there's all different ways of making money through the event, okay? And I honestly would use a combination of all three of these, okay? It depends at the end of the day what's in alignment for you. And what's in alignment for you is based upon whatever you've bought into. If you're trying to sell something you've never bought, you're going to feel incredibly out of alignment with it, even if it is legal, ethical, and moral. Okay, it's just one of those things. The more you're bought on something, the more you're going to sell something, okay? So at the end of the day, you want to be utilizing all three of these, okay? And so our average client is going to be taking in around twenty to thirty thousand dollars their first event, okay? And this is someone that is been in business for at least a couple of years, okay? They've made at least over a seventy-five thousand dollars, okay, in a year. That person is going to be bringing an average of twenty to thirty thousand dollars per event. What stops them or what holds them back? Okay, the first thing is they have no clue what they're doing. They've seen something, but they've never really put it together themselves, or they're afraid of investing the money up front. Okay, and I get that. All right, I totally get that. The more we can see something, the more we have vision for something, the more we're going to trust something. Okay, so I invite you, if you're not already working with us and having us set up your event, Okay, if you're watching right now, I want to offer you a free event scaling strategy session where we can break down your idea for your event. What do you want this to look like? Where do you see it in the future? What's important to you with putting together an event? Okay, what's your goals with the event? Okay, well, so we'll start to look at what, where are you getting caught up on? What are some of the questions that we didn't talk about? What are your barriers? And then let's look at your game plan. Let's look at the 500 foot look, 360 degrees, and let's see where you're at. And I'll give you some honest, I'll give you some honest feedback. I'll tell you what you're doing great, what you're doing good, and maybe some areas that Maybe you're a little naive or maybe you're just a little blind and there's nothing wrong with that at all. We all have blind spots in certain aspects of our business, but let's just get really honest. And the more we can look at the entire picture of what's going on, 
and what we plan on doing with the event, the more confident we're gonna be coming in the event and the more likely we are gonna be able to convert, okay, from that event, okay? Events will change your life, guys, I promise you that. Let's sit down and see what we can do to help you grow to the next level, okay? And if it is a good fit, we'll be there for your first event. We'll help you. Okay, here's what you do the first hour. Here's what you do for the second day. Here's how you sell from stage. What are we selling from stage? Okay, what is the offer? How are they buying into that? Okay, what's that whole process? And so there's a lot to cover in that conversation. Okay, so let's schedule a strategy. There's no obligations, guys. There's no sales pitch. Okay, I just want to help you and whatever it looks like moving forward. Okay, if it's not a great fit, I hopefully you're not offended, okay, by any means, okay, but if you are a great fit, okay, let's talk about what that looks like to go to the next level, okay, I would love to help you through that process and everything that looks like, so if that's something you're interested in setting up, okay, click the link below, that'll take you to a form, fill it out as best as you can, and then let's sit down with our team and let's just get real in what this looks like for you and your business, okay. Lastly, I want to leave you with this. You have a divine purpose. And I believe when you buy into that d divine purpose and you commit to it, okay, the, the world's just going to get out of your way and it's going to work for you. Okay, I believe that it's gonna work, you just gotta keep working it, but you gotta buy into it from the beginning. And when you buy into it, when you commit to it, amazing things are gonna happen, okay? Doing an event and learning that whole entire process from start to finish, I guarantee, okay, I guarantee if you commit through the process that it will take your business, your life to the next level. It could be the thing that not just changes your family's life, but it changes your generations down the line's life. Best of all is it is the most rewarding thing. There's been some events where I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so tired. I don't know if I want to do it. We don't have as many people signed up, you know, and I come into this event not with my best energy. And by the end of the event, I have people coming up to me and they're just crying and they're thanking me. And one event I had to, I like lost it. I like, I had to step backstage because I was so emotional. And I was so glad that I didn't quit. I was so glad that I didn't allow myself to let fear and being tired hold me back. And the more you do something and the more you commit to it, the more confident you're gonna be through the process. Okay, players win games, teams win championships. Let us be a part of what, we're, of what you're doing and let's see what we can do to go to the next level. Hopefully you got a lot of value from this video series. Okay, um, follow my podcast, Next Gen Coaching Chronicles, Next Gen Sports Podcast. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Travis Brady Brands. Okay, I'd love to help you any way I can. I always leave you with this, be inspired, be in spirit of what you're creating, be love, be it, be next gen, be unique, be different, be innovative, okay? And lastly, the world needs you. You have something to offer the world that no one else does, okay? Get that out there and amazing things will happen, okay? Thanks for joining me today. Good talk.